Well, after Congress approved a tax freeze on medical device sales, Representative Eric Paulson is taking a victory lap. Paulson toured three medical device firms in Maple Grove and one in Plymouth today. Eric Nelson caught up with the congressman who lobbied for months against the tax. There is holiday joy in the Minnesota medical world. It's a big win in terms of uh, repealing a very onerous tax. Last week, President Obama signed into law a bill that freezes a 2.3% medical device tax for two years. It came together uh, because it was the right thing to do, and everyone recognized this was a really bad policy. The suspension is an early Christmas gift for those in the medical device business. Many of them thought the tax crippled innovation and cost the industry billions. What you have to do is you have to lay off people, and it's usually in the R&D. And the research and development is what gets new products out for the next generation of treatment for patients. The tax affected businesses like Nextera and Maple Grove, which makes devices to combat prostate diseases. It's on revenue and it's not based on profits. And the tax can be all over the place and it can be extremely high. You know, from 2.3%, it could be up to 85%. Minnesota Congressman Eric Paulson sponsored the Protect Medical Innovation Act of 2015. He spent months trying to get it passed. If you want to get something done, you got to be persistent. And I think it's focusing like a laser and then convincing colleagues with good relationship building on a bipartisan level. That's how you get things done. And we just need to do more of that in Washington. Paulson's next goal is to make the the tax vanish for good. We need to make the repeal permanent. A two-year suspension gets us down the road, uh, I think, to achieving that goal. Now, Congressman Eric Paulson says because of its high concentration of medical device jobs, Minnesota was essentially paying 25 percent of the tax. And Alex and Mike, there was a bipartisan support to suspend the tax. DFL Senators Amy Klobuchar and Al Franken voted for the freeze. Klobuchar says she will be working with Paulson to make the freeze permanent. All right. I know that coalition's been working for a couple of years. Yes, so they can work together. Got results. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Eric. All right.